so we're expecting a few minutes of fun for the Bro fans. Jump into the ring. Is going to find himself in an awkward spot. Just stacking up the Winter's Bite here. The concussive blows do come on down, but Envy is just going to get flashed on. The barrier comes in. It is going to be a one for one. Both supports picking up some money. Polo getting the first. Polo is going to be the focus here as Envy is stacking this one up. Def getting taken down solo. Next couple of autos are going to do it as the heal comes in, but it's not enough. And that is Envy and Polo picking up a kill in the 2v2. But we know what S Real is able to do. Weakness in, Trusha Barrage comes down as Envy is just going to get kicked away. And that Glacial Fissure did not help out at all. Deft is gifted the kill and KT back in control bottom lane. Even with double investment of the summoners, Envy ends up going down. Just realizing they're not going to be able to get too much done here as Envy moving on over to try and uh, clear out at least these minions. It, it's not like you picked the Orianna to. Yeah, crush the uh, 1v1. Crush the 1v1. That's just never going to be the case. It's going to come down to the team fight. Pressure them away. Smite is up here from Goshik. If he can get in, that is going to be secured by KT. The arrow is going to be soaked by Barrel, but he's just going to explode. That's a kill going over to Morgan. Is now Polo is going to get kidnapped. And now Morgan in as well. But Culver Meek is so valuable. And Pyoshik is trying to get out, it's just not going to work because now it is Viego's version of Cassante chasing them down and this is what a pickup does, it just chases you to the end of the earth. And so Morgan is pretty tanky, if it goes in, but Arrow not going to really do too much. It's going to be soaked as now, speaking of soaked, oh dear. Um, Perfect going to be in a little bit of trouble, does mitigate a bunch of the CC, but he's not going to be able to mitigate death. That is going to be fate locking that one down and that's an inner turret in trade. And yeah, they managed to get some bounty gold, but that is not going to stop this from being a massive win for Bro. That's Xena going down. It's a kill getting picked up as well. As Perfect is tanking so, so much in this fight. But there goes Pyoshik. That is going to be the dragon going over to Bro. And Fate has teleported in. And he is named effectively. Because Bro's fate is to win as soon as they have no hope of playoffs. So I'm going to say that it's really, really good. Well, it hasn't won yet. Uh, let's see whether this team fight, anything mir 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 miraculous is going to happen. That kick was beautiful. That might be the start of it as Envy is going down low. He will be traded for Pyoshik in here, but it's faint with a lot of damage still. And some very heavy wallets. There's the Heartbreaker forward. Deft is flashing away from Young Jay, but he's not going to be able to get anywhere because Morgan comes in and cuts down his former AD carry. That's going to be the end of the game, and Bro Leavers rise up. You might be out of playoff contention, but you can still blue shell these teams that are still in the running. Nexus goes down, and Bro is going to do the most on his team, but it wasn't as Bro 1 0. Let's, uh, let's hop up on the rip. And taunt them up if he needs to, but he might be sacrificing himself if he does so. The flash forward from Morgan, and there's the Shadow Dash, but Hepa Pole will result in first blood going over to Fate with a cheeky rocket from downtown. Does have reinforcements on the way. Yeah, Plasma stacked up, but his health bar is so low. Great Vault Breaker there from Yoshik just to make sure that he's definitely not going anywhere. And thus just sort of fell down to a much more high tempo draft from Bro. This time around, KT have a way better draft, and they also have the high tempo draft. And oh my god, Envy has to use his barrier just to eat through the equalizer, but it doesn't get a whole lot of value. And Koshik is just dead again. Um, Beryl just uh, standing around. That is a teleport in towards his bottom lane. Stench United going to be utilized once again, but they're going to try and blow up BDD as best they can. The culling onto Polly, though, and BDD not even dead yet. He finds a few autos. That's a double for KT in the bottom lane. Perfect, taking a lot of damage. They do manage to take him out here as Beryl doesn't have damage himself. That's the Shadow Dash flash, and um, that was a weird thing to do, but it's fine. Like Envy maybe hits a W a little bit earlier. There's oh. oh, perfect. Yeah, nice headbutt back onto Perfect. He's being thrown around like a ragdoll. The Flame Spit is still getting a fair bit of work done, but Polo just soaks it up and he'll be A OK. They are punishing the Rumble here. So KT now is Soul Point. Should probably dip, Rion, but they're not going to. They're using the Maokai ult. Yeah, Perfect is going to come in as well. Gets a lot of damage, but it's still the Maokai that's able to lock down the Baron. Morgan is going to go all out, but he's now all out of the fight. If he's just the one sacrifice, though, that is very high value. The rest of Bro, they're not going to be able to make it all the way out just yet, though, as Dev. He wants to kill her and sink in. He's able to deliver a Shen as well. And Polu, he'll be taken out also. Three Barons for two. 
And that equalizer is not going to get the value that it really wanted. Pyoshik is diving in to that backline as BDD is layering all the damage. They take down Death, but at what cost is BDD? He's also executed from this one. It's the only happening. damage left is perfect. Who wants to turn it onto Envy? And he is still very, very big. But is he big enough to try and take these guys down? He has no flash. He is not getting out. And Morgan's going to get a triple kill. Well, Beryl is going to find a Shadow Dash onto Morgan in that front line. The Cullen comes down. They keep the Baron leashed as Deft is in trouble. He's just singled out and obliterated. This Equalizer is a little bit better, but Envy is still alive. That Mora Malmorty is doing absolute wonders. And KT are being torn to shreds. The Bramble comes down and smashes them. But BDE, he's dancing around the fight. It's now a 1v1. BDE versus Morgan and Fate. He'll come in so late to the fight after TPing back. And he will end the hopes for KT. Oh, Yoshi and is near the pit. He has the Blast Cone. And he doesn't actually use it to get over the wall. That is going to be the Baron secured here by Bro. They then dive on top of the Lucian, who is in just straight up the wrong position. Morgan is looking for depth. And did you predict it? Did you know it was happening? Bro taking down KT as Beryl, he'll be cut up where he stands. Poe will die, but he doesn't mind about that one. Deft is on the found, nothing he can do. And the Nexus will go. He did a lot of damage, it did not matter. Uh, that is